you guys so in this video we are going to be playing with this Viseart palette and this is the you know what taught me to figure out what these names are on here this is the VPE 14 neutral matte um, neutral mattes palette and so as you can tell or well, everything in here is going to be a matte color I don't know if I'm going to use shimmer from anything else or not um of course, I should not really be paying with makeup right now because this eyelid is swollen a little bit. Um, something is irritating it. Um, and I haven't put anything to wash it on there, but I guess with that, it might take a few days for my eyes to get back to whatever and calm down. Um, but yeah, we want to play with this palette anyway. Also, I, for some reason, I cannot find my other oh there we go here we go here we go because I don't always want to use a white base so we're just going to use this one which is the pretty vulgar and I don't know if it's the next base either that to bother my eyes because that is the base that I use the most right now um my Kaylin base is at my sister's house and I haven't been there since I I haven't been there after I left it um I like this base I think it is nice um yeah I think it is nice and this is as you can tell it has a color to it but once you put it on it actually just goes on clear at least it seems clear to me unless it's my skin color and I just can't tell so anyways with that being said we are going to play in this palette um we're going to start off we're going to go we're going to do we're going to go backwards so we're going to do the lid first and then work our way around it attempt to work our way around it um viseart is a high-end brand expensive um this palette itself retails for eighty dollars i didn't pay eight dollars for it but it retails for eighty dollars um i think we're going to Go with this yellowish color on the lid. <sighs> now that I'm looking at it, I don't know. Um, let's try it. Let's try it. At least let's try it on one eye first. Let's try it on... I don't even know what the problem eye is anymore. So we're just going to <laughs> put it on this one. And then go from there. Um... This base has a tackiness feel to it, not to the touch, but to when you um, put eye color on it, there's a little tug to it. Um, I'm going to assume that that is a good thing, showing that the base will stay a little longer, or your eyeshadow color will stay a little longer. And I can't promise that we will even test this because my eyes acted up. Um, I may not be able to keep it on that long. But can you guys even see the difference in the color? Because it kind of blends a little bit. I wonder if that means that I have a yellow undertone. Y'all don't judge. I'm still stuck on trying to figure out what my undertone is. Not really stuck on it. I just refuse <clears throat> to take the time to figure it out especially when I do tests and stuff and they all say different things like all my foundations have different um, undertones to them because I have neutral and I have warm and I don't know if I have anything I might have a golden one who knows but that is what it looks like. It's not patchy or anything like that. The um the quality of these um of these eye colors with this company is really good. 
really good. Like I said, this palette itself is retails for $80. Um, now we're going to go in with... We're going to go in with this color here first. These don't have names on it or anything. Nothing comes in here card-wise. So, nothing on the back. That's what the back looks like. We're going to go with the pink color and we're going to attempt we're going to use this brush i'm pretty sure this is not the brush that i should uh be using but we're going to use this brush here which is a flat definer brush and we're going to tr attempt to add color in this part here Actually, this works really well. I don't know if it's the palette itself, um, but I don't use, as you can tell, this is a clean brush. I don't use these types of brush. I do use um, the smaller version, but I don't, and I don't remember what I use this for, but it's never a line type thing. But I feel like with this brush, I can do liner, you know, with eyeshadow color, but I want to do two different colors. So we're going to do this color on the inside here, and then I want the blue on the outer portion, but I don't need to use this type of brush for the blue. So let's attempt. If this fails, it's me and not the actual palette itself, okay? Okay. Do y'all like the fact that I put my mirror here? So and that's probably why you can see the light reflecting, which is fine. But I don't have to turn this way and y'all miss anything. If y'all was even really paying attention, y'all can actually see what it is and what I'm doing. So we're going to attempt, as you see, to blend this out. <sighs> and I, st I feel like I'm already messing this up. But you know what? We're going to go with it anyway. Because that is what we do. And it's more so probably how I'm holding the brush with it being slanted this way instead of being out this way. Um, so it's touching parts that I don't want it to touch on my eye but we will see how this goes but it's okay right now okay it's not too too bad this eye is watering already and i don't know why and i don't feel like playing with this eye drop i won't put eye drops in but the eye drops that i have is a lot okay it's 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 a lot it's a lot. I will say that. I will say that. Okay. So we're going to go in with this brush here. Um, which has previously been used. But we're going to go into the blue. And... We're going to... Put the blue on the outer portion of the eye. Now I'm not as defined on the outside portion of the eye because it's the outside portion of the eye. <laughs> so the outside is more forgiving than the inside of the eye. At least to me it is. But once again, what do I know? Not much. Not much at all. Not much at all. When I tell you I am liking the way my lid is looking with it just being matte, and probably because I haven't seen my eye be okay in a while, you know? 
Like it still has a little bit of issues as why texture wise, but not too much, not too bad. Okay, we're gonna stop there. And we're going to use a brown or skin tone color to um buff around the edges, I guess. To attempt to buff around the edges. I don't know what this is going to look like. I'm telling y'all right now. I don't know what this is going to look like. Y'all know how it is with me in color. Um, y'all know how it is with me in color. So, I have no idea. None. Where's the... What do you last? What do you last? Um, okay, so we're going to take an actual blending brush now. And this is a small tapered blending brush here. I feel like... Here we go. So I'm like, I know I got a smaller one. These are both Luxy brushes, but this one is just a little smaller than this one. It's not as fluffy as this one. And we're going to take this one here and go around the edges of this eye of ours to see if we can <laughs> do anything I need to get my eyebrows done I need to Lord knows I don't feel like plucking these poor little things I need to find my razor so that I can raise it shape them don't judge don't judge I know I don't do my eye shape like the ordinary with it being, you know, up and stuff. But because I have thin eye, um, eyebrows anyway, especially in this area, if I go further up, I ain't going to have no hairs on the out parts, outside of my eyebrows. And I do not do my eyebrows every day. I don't. Um, Y'all yeah, know I don't wear makeup every day. Yo, what the heck does this look like? What does this look like? Hmm? Because I don't know. I don't know. What I also like about this eyeshadow base, I know I'm on a little place, but this eyeshadow base, it doesn't, um, doesn't crease when you just, you know, if you leave certain eyeshadow bases on your eyes by itself, it creases. This one doesn't. And I really do like that one. Okay, so we're going to do the other eye. Because as of right now, I think I done messed up this one. I don't know what to do left with this one. So we're going to do the other eye. We're going to do it a little different. Uh, a little different. So we are going to start off with this one. Okay. And we're just going around in circular motions to blend it out all the way up and all the way up. And I feel like it could be that the brush is not <laughs> cleanest brush. I don't even know what started on with this, but I do not like how it's blending out.
I might take the time this weekend to actually <sighs> clean brushes. Because I honestly don't think take that long for me to clean brushes. Like, at all. So, let's get a little closer so you guys can see. And you're not really seeing anything now because I'm not really doing anything now. So now we're going to go back into this pinkish reddish color here and we're just going to put this in this portion of the eye I feel like with the brown color, it's almost more so now like a reddish color. And maybe this is a reddish color. Y'all know how my eyes are in, in color-wise. I, I can't even tell you. But what I want to do is use basically the same colors, but to see if we can do a little better. <laughs> Okay, and this one we're just going to kind of stamp it and leave it. We're just going to stamp, stamp, stamp. So, but it looks like stamping it actually helps blend it some as well. Maybe. Maybe. But we're going to go into blue now. Same brush. And the blue. And we're going to just put the blue here. And bring it in just a little bit. Not much. Just overlap it. I need to track my last Fenty order. You just tap it to kind of deepen it. Some. So going this way, it looks more so bluish black. Because all the colors are blending, but you still get the blue effect on the corner here. Now, with this one, <clears throat> we're going to use a concealer. Or maybe this full cover foundation that does not match my skin tone. And we're going to take us a brush. Tiny brush come from uh, Beach Cosmetic. We're gonna take this little tiny brush here and we are going to carve out where we want to put our matte color. Now, I don't know if it's going to make a difference using this since it is a foundation and not a concealer. But for me, in my mind, since it is full coverage, it should be okay. I could be wrong. I probably am. But <laughs> it should be. It should be okay. Okay. And the reason why we're using this and we're doing this is so that we can have it a sharper line. Because it's matte, we want it to be more precise on the eyelid. And y'all know, even though I am still in the beginner stage, and I probably will always say that I'm a beginner. Um, so this is really not hard to do. Especially if you do not have hooded eyes. The shape of it will be a heck of a lot different and it probably won't take as long to cut your crease or carve out what you know the space you want to do things with so that is what it looks like and now we're just going to take a color we're going to take the same exact color 
and put it on the lid. And let's see if it makes a difference. I mean, I already can tell you I like this eye a heck of a lot better than this one. Um, I think I went too far with the blue. I'm going to learn to do a blue look. Well, I've done an all blue look before. I don't know if I, I don't know if I posted the video. I might not have, but I did do an all blue look. I believe I have it on um, the picture on Instagram. It was beautiful to me. Now, I don't do a lot of all matte looks. I have a thing for shimmer colors. Glitter. I love bright colors. I mean, I know how to use them together, but I love bright colors. I used to school shop. As a kid, my mom used to take me. I loved colors. Love colors. I still love colors, just not as much. I don't wear as much bright colors. Unless it's in a dress. I mean, I have some patterned shirts, but not a whole bunch. But dresses... I love dresses with the beautiful patterns. Now I'm going to go back in with the blue to help blend it together on the end. And not a whole bunch, just so we don't lose the actual blue color. And it just kind of blends in together. Just a little bit, not a whole lot, because, I mean, these are all different colors. But just enough. Just enough. I think that this is my favorite cut crease that I have done so far. And I think this foundation that I used is not bad at all. But... And that is that eye, and that is this eye. Hands down, I like this side better. Okay, and this is the final look, guys. I actually like, and what I did with this eye, this eye here, because it's not as bad as when I got off to do the rest of my face, is I just took the lid color and applied it a little higher um, up. So it does blend a little bit with the blue at the top and some with the pink, but I like that. So this eye really isn't that bad to me anymore. I still like this one better, but this eye is not bad at all to me once I did that. Um, I contoured did everything else that I usually do on a wig today to end this video and um on my lips i use the joy uh joy don't know how to pronounce it this is in the color snapdragon and you get two milliliters in this here um once again this set is available where i found it at marshall's and it was $7.99. I think for six little colors for $7.99 and this brand is not bad at all. Um I don't know if they're an expensive brand. I don't really go on this site to shop when they send me stuff in email. Um, so I can't tell you what it is, but I do think that these are worth a dollar and some change each for these little colors. So this is what is on my lips, which I think is beautiful. And I think it also works very well with the eyeshadow, um, the eyeshadow look, especially the Whatever color that is now on my on my eye because it's not what it started off to be. Um, but that is it, guys, for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was informative, maybe. Um, Y'all know me. I am. I love makeup. I love playing in makeup. But I don't ever want anybody to feel like I'm telling them what to do. I just like to come on here, show you how I use things, how they work for me, if they work for me. Um... And you can draw your conclusion and go from there. The foundation that I used today is the NARS uh, Salt Matte Foundation. Let me make sure I say it right because y'all know. Yeah, Salt Matte Foundation. 
Uh, the shade that I have is Tahoe, which is medium deep two. And I just love that foundation. I really do love that foundation. It doesn't feel so matte on my face. Um, usually the other times I use that foundation, I used a matte primer, but today I used a hydrating primer underneath since it is matte. And I actually, I might prefer it better with a hydrating primer. And so I might use two different primers, a matte primer, of course, in my T-zone, and then a hydrating primer on the rest of my face because I have combination skin. And so my oils peek through, of course, in my T-zone. So I might do that. I might, I didn't do it this time, but I might do that. So I'm going to try to wear this as long as I can. You know, my eyes a mess. So I did have to add back uh, the color back to my lid um, on this eye because it was doing her watering mess so i did have to do that um so yeah but i actually do and this is an all matte look which i know i don't do often and for this to be an all matte look i think it looks pretty darn good but of course that is my uh, perception of what i did but that is it guys for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below i hope you have a good day now i need to go and track my packages i have two more sets from fenty that i purchased that i need to figure out where it is at and i don't think i'm gonna oh i thought i saw a hole in my dress but that's for the buttons i don't think i'm gonna do a video on those two um yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a video on those two. I don't know. But I appreciate you guys so much. And if I did do a video, more than likely it comes, it will be up for this one. Um, and these should be tan, skin colored, mute, neutral tone sets. Um, nothing bright or anything like that. But that is it, guys, for this video. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys so much. And I have hope you all have a safe, good weekend um, or a safe, good week, depending on when you're watching this and when I post it. And until the next video, I will talk to you beautifully different, lovely people later. Bye, guys.